Probably the most hated man to be ever associated with the NFL is Roger Goodell. Now, a lot of people were hoping that this guy would eventually get fired. Well, let's just say this guy got re-signed. And he actually, with this, he got a five-year extension. So it looks like Roger's going to be around for a while. And when you look at that, I am obviously not a big Roger Goodell fan. I don't think anyone is. In the comments below, I just want to find one person. I'm not going to sh like, like shame you for this. But I just want to find at least one person that likes Roger Goodell. That's like not an NFL owner, not some sort of person that works in the higher management. No, like someone I know that's a down-to-earth football fan that just just enjoys watching football, just tunes into it every Sunday and does all that. Not some sort of not some sort of management. I want to see if there's actually someone in the comment section that would know that. I just want to see. I just want to see because I haven't met anyone that likes Roger Goodell. It's really understandable because a lot of people think he is a hard ass. Now, as you see with the gameplay footage right now, uh, I am playing as the Patriots versus the Dallas Cowboys. Now, the reason why I picked that is because a lot of people think that the NFL. Um, obviously that they chipped and those are two teams that were penalized from it or they at least had two star players that were ideally suspended and they weren't very happy about it but I heard a lot of reports that really that Roger Goodell is like he doesn't have no beef with Jerry Jones or a Robert Kraft it just looks like it, and Robert Kraft and Jerry Jones don't have any beef with Roger Goodell either. And it's just because they're making billions of dollars that they almost they don't care. And I think to a certain degree, I think that there's some owners in this league that obviously they do care about winning. But there's some that just really just kind of don't find it to be a huge kind of a big deal. But um, ideally they look at it and they're thinking, well, we're making billions of dollars. So... Roger Goodell, obviously, he's helping us out. So, really, it's the only reason why Roger Goodell is there because the hierarchs like him, not because the fans like him. And I think that's pretty self evident that the fans do not like Roger Goodell. And he's a very harsh guy right there. But I also beg the question is who would replace Roger Goodell? Now, the NFL commissioner really doesn't do anything, so who cares about exploring to this topic right here? So, why don't we just try to explore? I've heard some proposals that Mitt Romney could be filled in as an NFL commissioner. I think that would be interesting. I think you would have to bring in an NFL. Um, I don't think you really need to bring in a super NFL um, guy person to have to lead you right there to become and uh, to run the be a commissioner because they're really just negotiating uh, TV deals with them. I guess that's not very hard. I guess you could go after. Mitt Romney, that's kind of interesting. I was thinking Eddie Bartello Jr., one of the ex-49ers owners right there. I think that could be quite interesting. And as I as I see that, that we don't really have a made solution to that. I want to see if the cop section will do you, any of you guys have a solution to it. Is there a former co coach to go after? I, I thought to myself, one of my first guys I thought was maybe Bill Parcells, but... Eh. I was just thinking of football people, but Bill Parcells, one thing, he's very old. I think that guy's at least a thousand years old. And then one thing for sure, I think it's about negotiating deals. So you're looking at TV person. I mean, I, I know this might sound weird, but I think that they might look for a politician. I heard this um, precision of Mitt Romney. I heard Barack Obama could be up there. It's, it's quite interesting what it could be. Now, when it comes to Roger Goodell, and if you don't understand, if you're one of these people, and I'm, I'm, you're pro I'm probably talking to no one right here, but if there's anyone out there that does it, or at least likes Roger Goodell and thinks he actually does a good job, speak up now, and I'm going to see this, like, any defense from it, because he is kind of a hard ass, and I think one thing for sure is I wouldn't want a Hegel's, a product of Hegel's dialect of Roger Goodell. If you don't know what that is, Hegel's dialect is something develops because of the opposite because they're upset from the mainstream or whatever. So Hegel's dialect would be, I think that my, this is a little history uh, lesson, but in the Gilded Age, uh, if you don't know what that is, that's basically during the late 1800s, around the 1870s. So this is post linking post Civil War, but before, way before World War One. And ideally what happened was there's a lot of big businesses out there and uh, there's a lot, it was really easy to be owner and be really rich and all that. And so there's a lot of this anti-sentiment too that these they have these monopolies here, they're too powerful. 
And so to a certain degree, communism was kind of emerging in Europe as a philosophy by Karl uh, Marx. And so that's why the idea of communism, since that's kind of against the industrialists, it's more for the laborer, that he decides actually that he will go out there and or a lot of people thought that maybe communism would work obviously and during and to this day a lot of people still think communism works so that's kind of an example of Hegel's dialect so something develops because of its opposite and I wouldn't want the opposite of Roger Gale so someone that lets him get away with anything I remember Joe Thomas made a comment um, a couple of years ago and Joe Thomas is a very respectful man there's no there's no to die I think I think Joe Thomas is a great guy I think really any football fan can hang out with Joe Thomas even if you're a Steelers fan you can hang out with Joe Thomas he's similar he's almost as if he kind of reminds me of Jason Witten a little bit kind of one of those players that you just really just can't hate Larry Fitzgerald there's just some guys that are just so likable that you have on your team so that's that's how I put it and when you when Joe Thomas's comment is that quarterbacks should have the permission to deflate the footballs at however they would like to, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, I don't want them throwing around those Nerf footballs. Have you ever seen those Nerf footballs? Have you ever been to Toys R Us or had these little Nerf footballs that you could just huck them? They whistle too. You 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 hear them? The whistle. They have a little tail at the end. You just throw. I don't know what the name is, but those things you could huck forever. And I and trust me, I don't want to see quarterbacks just hucking that. And I don't want wide receivers catching these little tiny balls with one hands. I mean, that would just be freaking stupid. The NFL by that point would just be a complete joke. It would lose its identity that way. So I don't think quarterbacks should have the permission to deflate them or inflate them whatever way they want to. Obviously, there might be a certain range that they want to, but overall. When I look at that, that's why I want. I wouldn't want the direct opposite of watching that. I won't say, oh, why? You don't want a good commissioner? No, I don't want a guy who has the style of being a tight ass, but I don't want another guy to have the style to be a very loose guy who's like, who's like you know, those guys, those skateboarders, personal, well, not skateboarders, but guys who like the smoke, you like, you know me, man, I'm just, just going out, I'm just going with the flow, those kind of people. That's not what I would want as a commissioner either, so I wouldn't want the direct opposite. If it comes to that, that would be really bad, so teams would just be doing stuff all over the place. I mean, my God, I mean, there's in the NFL, I would say a lot of teams do 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 a lot of things that bend the rules right there. I, I think stick comes you. I think a lot of people do a lot of stuff that they try to get an advantage because it is a business. And it's extremely, extremely competitive. And when you look at that, I just think to myself that you, I look at that, I wouldn't want that commissioner. So, I, I think it would be kind of interesting, because Roger Goodell has been, uh, he's been interesting. He's been around, for actually been around for a while. It's been over 10 plus years with uh, Goodell in power, and I just wonder, like, a lot of people thought that this guy was actually going to get kicked out. I actually thought eventually that this guy would eventually, you'd see this guy lose for whatever happened to him. But what ends up happening is he's actually getting resigned. And so it looks like Jerry Jones and Robert Kraft had did not do enough to fight for it. And maybe Robert Kraft and Jerry Jones um, try to make themselves look as if they are the down to earth. They are, I would say, a log cabin kind of owner. If you don't know what that means, yeah, I'm sorry, using all these political terms and philosophy terms, but ideally, a log cabin person would be someone that's down to earth. Ideally, so do you think they'd be down to earth or like a common man more so of it? I don't look at Roger Cattell or uh, or not Robert Kraft or Jerry Jones as down to earth people, but I also view them as as owners that you know, they are successful owners don't get me wrong but they're not people I look at that like know the life of the average middle class person I know I really don't think so a lot of these people grew up in riches and all and now they, they're even more rich and when I look at this obviously what are some of your uh, solutions to the new commissioner is it Mitt Romney is it Barack Obama is it, is it I don't know I thought Phil Parcells and I thought to myself no it's freaking stupid because that guy's a head of he was an NFL coach he's not a business guy it, it's it's quite interesting what you could do and maybe if you know some business people that could be coming there I, I think that'll be interesting so, but what do you think about Roger Goodell being re-signed to five more years and do you have any proposals for a new commissioner that could be there. And obviously the commissioner's destined to be hated, but Roger Goodell has sucked for the common fan.
I'll see you guys next time. Peace.